Welcome to Lulu's channel. Today we'll be cooking together traditional Portuguese dish. It is called arroz de pato. You know what arroz de pato means? No. Please say it. Arroz de pato. Arroz de pato. Oh, very good. Arroz de pato. Arroz. Namaste. <laughs> Me, Lulu, husband, ho. Arraj cooking. Kara hai. Aj recipe duck mm -hmm. uh, rice kesat and let's start cooking. <laughs> Lulu, come closer. Okay. So here we have the duck. This duck was grown at a farm, so it's a very organic, healthy duck. And you can use any meat that you like. Here we're also mixing it with a little bit of chicken. adding some here to our pots, to our cooker. Make sure you add a good amount in there where after we'll be adding our vegetables. While it's heating up, I like to put a little bit of bell leaf in there, just giving some flavor. And I'm gonna mix it up. Just let it dry and do its own thing for a little while. Can just All right, it. so we're cooking the food. It's gonna be so yummy right now. Lulu really loves it. Lulu, it's time to add here the star of this dish, the duck and also the chicken. Just gonna throw it in there and let it fry. is a technique that I just came up with to be mixing the meat with all the flavors. It's kind of working, looking nice. Back into the fire. And look at this, we're gonna start adding a little bit of boiling water. Not too much, as you can always add a little bit later. And at this point, I'm gonna put the fire a little bit stronger. And we'll also be adding some red wine. So before putting the wine in the food, it's very important that we try it first. <laughs> mm, delicious. This is... Portuguese wine going into the coffee. And for the meat to become even more tender, I always add, like to add some beer. Again, we must try it first. <laughs> Who try and mood? Mm. Delicious. <laughs> Now it goes into the meat. This, this will help the meat be very tender and yummy. This beer, we don't need alcohol. So now we're gonna let it boil for maybe 40 minutes, one hour. 40? 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Before we close the pot, we'll be adding our pork belly. Just throw it in there to cook and our pork sausage, Portuguese chorizo. We're using two different kinds. This one is going in there. 
And this one we'll be using a little bit later. This is special chorizo from Kiyos. It's very, very good quality. It smells so good. It's gonna be delicious. Put it in the pot, mix it a little bit in the water. And we're just gonna leave it there for And realize I haven't added any salt. The meats are a little bit salty, we'll check a little bit later. So now we're going to close the pot to conserve the flavor and for it to cook a little bit quicker. We're gonna leave it like this in this pot for around 30 to 40 minutes. Right, so we hope you're enjoying our cooking video. If you like to see some more and if you can feel the taste and the smell of these foods in your kitchen one day, please follow, like our, like our videos, subscribe to Lulu's channel and we'll be uploading more recipes together. The meat should be cooked. Right now, been more or less after 30 minutes. And it smells so good. All out and put it here in a, in a set. Okay, so we're gonna be having to shred all of these uh, these birds, the duck and the chicken, and right now it's just way too hot. So let's put it here by the window, let it cool down. Knife, mm -hmm. Knife nehin chaye, hot bohota chai. <laughs> nice and slowly shredding all the meat. No need to be like perfect pieces, you know. Yeah. So if you like to see us cooking more, learning more recipes that you can try at home, these traditional Portuguese dishes, remember to like our video, subscribe, and leave comments of what we shall cook next. To be preparing these pieces of pork, here the pork belly, it has a skin on the outside that it is really really hard so we definitely don't want to eat that we'll be cut it down into smaller like cubes or something like that however you like to make it set it aside. Same thing with the pork sausage, we're gonna be chopping it up into smaller cubes. This one. Then the together, this part you can put it to the side. In this one, <clears throat> you wanna slice it into small circles like that. Small. Okay, so the water that we want to be using to cook the rice, we need to pass it through this sieve to take out the big chunks because we only want to use the water that we use to make the actual rice, okay? So we'll be starting by chopping up a little bit of onion. I like using red onion. It has very, very nice flavor. In this one, I like to cut into small pieces. Put a little bit of oil, olive oil, now no need too much. Let it heat up and we'll start adding 
our red onions. This is for the rice, right? This is for the rice. Chopped up red onion, a little bit of olive oil, and start adding the rice. I like using a measuring cup so I know how much water I must add. I'm gonna do four cups of rice. All right, so we added like four glasses of uh, four cups of rice. Now we're just gonna add all this water from the duck. Look how rich in flavor it is. So it's been like five minutes, the rice is in there. We can add all the duck on top. Pork belly, a little bit of chorizo. a quick stir. So me and my wife, we're a team. Today I'm cooking. My beautiful wife is cleaning. Thank you, love. You cook very nice, but you mess up so much. <laughs> yes, it's true. I make a big mess in the kitchen. But the food is coming out so delicious. And I'm just finishing cooking up the rice and we'll get ready to put it on a tray. All right, so now that our rice is now cooked, it's time to pass it onto our trays. Make sure you use some trees that can go in the oven to put your rice in it. All right, so now we've preheated the oven at 180 degrees. It's time to put the trays with the rice in the oven to finish cooking. One. <laughs> and two. Just leave them in there for maybe 20 minutes to finish cooking. And after that, we will eat. <laughs> The food is ready now and it's really, really yummy. Hi, my brother. How was the food? It's good. Very good. Very good. Hi, sis. Hello. How is... try it. Can you please taste the food your brother make? Mmm. 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 Nice. So yummy. Good job. Good job. Over here. Yes, mom. Mm. <laughs> very, very, very good. Very good. Papa, how is the food? Okay. 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 <laughs> Tasty, yummy. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Enjoy and eat. Enjoy and see you on the next time. Thank you so much for the food love. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Mmm. Thank you. See you on next video. Yeah. Now we are going to eat. Bye. Ciao.